Hi everyone, welcome to Hype and Spin. Today we're going to talk about how to turn this beautiful 2022 R9T into a proper cafe racer. For this we're going to remove the pillion seat and we're going to install the cafe racer hump. I think it's a technical term. Right, let's get started. So first of all, let's remove the pillion seat. For this, you need a T30 uh, Torx, uh, a proper tool like this, or you use the BMW tool. This is a T30 uh, Torx, uh, and honestly, I like it because it fits quite well into this uh, screw here that you need to remove. Um, and when you tighten it, you make sure you don't, you only do it hand tight, right? Because don't do it, don't overdo it, right? Hand tight is enough for this. Okay, so that was easy. I could remove it. So let's feel, okay, this is already removed. So let's get the screw out. There is one washer, uh, so don't lose it. So we don't need this tool. Let's put it away. Here is uh, the screw. Right, let's also put that away. So now it's simple, you just lift and remove it. You see, it's basically um, fixed by this hook and one screw. So let's put this aside. Next step is to remove this um, front seat. Some people struggle with this, but it's super, super simple if you know how to do it. And the way you do it is you lift up this lever, that's it, and then you pull slightly backwards. That's it. Don't pull it up, right? If you pull it backwards, that's it. Because there are these four hooks, they go into this. Um, when you lift up this lever, you release, uh, and then you just need to pull it back. That's it. So super easy. Now comes the fun part. Um, we need to remove this leather um, hand grip, I guess. Uh, and for this, we use now a proper T30. Um, the, these two screws are fixed with uh, uh, 30, uh, sorry, uh, correction, it's uh, eight newton meter, eight newton meter. So quite easy, you saw. That was no problem at all. So number one, so be careful, the uh, end of this leather, um, uh, belt is a is metal so you don't want to scratch your paint so be careful here and the other thing that could happen is if you're not careful your screws fall uh, in here and it's quite tricky to get it out so make sure you hold uh, everything so let's put away the screws we have uh, this uh, plastic bracket and we have the leather belt so so now we have everything removed. Now we can um, install what's required for the um, cafe racer hump. You need this metal bracket. Uh, come closer, please. So this is the uh, metal bracket. You need this. That should be uh, part of the set. We reuse this piece and the way it goes is uh, the metal bracket goes underneath, uh, sorry, wrong way around. So it should look like this, right? So let's put this on back here. And now we need to use our two screws again. So let's start with the right side. All right. That was easy. Then number two. And what I'm not going to tell you is that is this is take number 120, I think. <laughs> well, not really, but we lost a few screws along the way. Uh, so practice makes perfect. So let's tighten this slightly. Not, don't, let's not overdo it, just so it is in proper, it's 
placed properly. Uh, right. Then we need a torque wrench. And as I said, it's eight Newton meter. Let's dial it up to eight. Right. In Germany, we like precision. Done. Done. So that's it. Now we move backwards. First, the front seat. Similar to how we got it out, we put it back in. So make sure these two uh, brackets align. Something like this. You press it down slightly and you push it forward. That's it. So you hear the sound. You can double check. Okay, that's fi fixed. Now, uh, next step is to install the hump. So what you got here is these two uh, buffers, uh, rubber. They go underneath these two, or underneath the bracket, right? So. And if you hold it with your two hands, you carefully insert it. You, you need to push this a little bit, you feel it. When it slides in. Okay, that's it. And then you reuse the screw we used in the beginning with the proper washer. You Carefully press it down, make sure you have clean hands so, so you don't have any metal or stones on your fingers. You will feel it when you... Yep, that feels good. Now I use this fantastic BMW tool again. And, as I said, make sure you only do this hand tight. Yeah, that feels good. And that's proper hand tight. Right. And, ladies and gentlemen, R90 2022 in a cafe racer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please click subscribe uh, or the little bell so I uh, can notify you when I upload. And it would, great, it would be great if you leave a comment. Um, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.